name is Brittany and today I'm going to be showing you how to correctly pick out a toner, how to correctly mix the toner, and how to apply a toner to cancel out yellow slash orange unwanted tones from your hair. So not only will the toner get rid of some of these unwanted tones, it's also going to help blend some lines. I've got some harsh lines where I just wasn't paying attention. First thing that you need to do is we need to decide what level is your hair. So traditionally it's one through 10. Sometimes some color systems will have level 12. One is black and 10 or 12 is lightest, palest blonde or almost white. So in between that one through 10 or 12, you need to pick the shade of your hair. So for example, mine is somewhere between a level nine and a level 10. I'm gonna be working with a level nine toner because not all parts of my hair are level 10. For example, pieces in the back are really like a level eight, level nine. If I put a level 10 toner on the pieces that are darker, it's not gonna do anything to the back of my hair. It's gonna be counterproductive. It's not going to work. I would also suggest that you run this by with a friend or someone to make sure that you're actually seeing the same shade. <laughs> Now, when you're looking at this one through 10 chart, it's important to remember you're looking at the shade. You're not looking at the tonality or the color of it or the hue. We don't care if your hair is red, orange, or yellow right now. What we care about is what shade is it? So if you could imagine this in black and white and your hair in black and white, match it to the level of lightness or darkness. Not, is it yellow? Is it red? Is it orange? Not yet. Now you need to determine what undertone is your hair bringing out. For example, mine is yellow. So now we've determined that my hair is a level nine yellow. Now we're gonna pull up the color wheel. Across from yellow on the color wheel is violet. Across from orange is blue, and across from red is green. So anything that's opposite on the color wheel, that cancels out that tone. So for example, Violet is going to cancel out the yellow tone, blue is going to cancel out any orange tones, and green is going to cancel out any red tones. So we've determined that my hair has a hue of yellow. So how I'm going to counteract this is by taking something with a violet tint because violet and yellow are opposite on the color wheel. We've also discussed that my hair is a level 9. So the color I'm going to be looking to use is going to look like this. 9V. So what that means when you're looking at colors and it has a lot like 9V, 9VV, 9R, 9MGR, 9BBVR. What does all that mean? Well, pretty simple. 9V means I'm level 9 with a violet hue. Now when my hair was a little bit darker, I used 822 or 8BBBB, which is level 8, which is still a pretty light blonde, blue, violet. So that's going to cancel out orange and yellow undertones. If you're having problems picking out your toner, just leave a comment and I'll look at your photo and try to help you pick it out. It doesn't matter if it's cream or liquid color. doesn't really matter. I'm going to be going with a liquid just basically because that's all I had. In a perfect world, I actually prefer to use the tube or the cream. I just like the consistency better but it does actually spread better if you use the liquid. To get started, you wanna start with a really clean palette. The best way to do this is to use a clarifying shampoo. This is my favorite, ugh, don't you hate that? I hate that about myself that I squeeze the bottles and I don't like re-squeeze them back. This is a generic brand. This is compared to Paul Mitchell's Shampoo One. This will run you about $8.99 and out of all the clarifying shampoos in the whole world, this is my favorite. Not the most hairdresser thing to say, but I'm all about the cheapest products actually out of this so I'm not gonna be able to use that don't worry if you don't have clarifying shampoo you can use baking soda mix it with your shampoo till it emulsifies you can also use apple cider vinegar which is what I'm gonna be using today and I'm just gonna mix some of that with some other shampoo I've gotten there and then shampoo my hair lightly condition just the ends I'm not gonna over condition my hair the apple cider vinegar does make your hair smell pretty gross, but it does strip away all the product buildup. We wanna start with a clean palette. So that's why clarifying your hair is super important for step one. We wanna make sure that all the product buildup is out of our hair. Now we've towel dried this, and you can actually see how yellow it really is now that it's wet. Okay, we're just gonna take a towel, or you can put on an old shirt because this will stain your clothes. So make sure you're not wearing something jazzy or whatever. We've already picked our color out. Again, I'm using 9V to cancel out the yellow tone. 
all hair color has to be paired with hydrogen peroxide or a developer. It'll look something like this. Now at the salon, I would be weighing this on the scale, but I'm sure you probably don't have a scale at your house. So go ahead and grab something from your kitchen that's kind of smaller in size. This tablespoon is a perfect size. You're going to need a bowl to put this in. You don't have to have a hair coloring bowl. I'm actually just using a cheap one from Sally's, but you can use a cereal bowl. You can even use a styrofoam bowl, doesn't matter. You're gonna need something to apply this with. This is actually a hair coloring brush by Matrix, but it's basically a makeup brush. A makeup brush will be fine if you don't have a hair coloring brush. Equal parts of this. This is a one to one ratio. So if we put a tablespoon of this, we're gonna put a tablespoon of developer. Now we're using 10 volume because we're just depositing. Anytime you're just depositing color on, not lifting it, you're using 10 volume. We're gonna put our hair color, we're doing one tablespoon, one tablespoon of developer. Woo. Easiest way to do this yourself is to just part this in half Okay, my hair's already drying because it's kind of fried so it dries really fast. And you're just applying it. Taking your hands, running it through. You want to go as fast as possible, not getting like super sloppy with it and like getting hair color over your bathroom. That would piss someone off. But you want to go as fast as you can because you want this to process equally and at the same time. And honestly, it's not like highlighting with foil, like you need to be neat, make sure you've got it all. You're just trying to get this on your hair as quick as possible. It does not matter if it touches darker colors of your hair because it's only gonna correct the color in its level. Does that make sense? It doesn't matter if you get this on your scalp or on your ears. It's not going to stain it. And I do like to take a wide tooth comb or brush and brush mine all the way through to make sure I've got every piece covered and honestly you don't even have to have a brush you can literally just scoop this up with your hands the main point is just making sure every part is covered and saturated evenly with the hair color Ooh, and i've got a bad line there so let's take care of that you can already see that it's changing whoa changing the color i like to go through and comb this all the way back and just take the brush or makeup brush, whatever, and go around my hairline. I have super, super thin hair. This makes it look thicker on my hairline. It'll also tone out those virgin hairs that are hanging out that I didn't color. So I'll make it look nice. Okay, now nothing fancy. I'm just gonna throw this in a clip. Now we're gonna let this process. No matter what line you're using, typically the toner can stay on up to 35 minutes. I let mine stay on for about 15 minutes because it's really not doing a whole lot of change. So it doesn't need to stay on super long. I mix up a little more in my bowl because I'm gonna be toning these hair extensions. You can see that these are super, super yellow. These are from Full Shine hair extensions off Amazon, and none of these products are sponsored, no affiliate links, I actually don't even know how to do that, nor do I really care. Um, these are my favorite hair extensions. You can get these for under $100, and these are one of their longest links. Forgot what length, though. The hair color never really matches with this brand, so you do always have to tone these, but it's important to remember that these hair extensions are gonna grab on a hair color more than your real hair. So when I tone these, I'm only gonna leave these on for like five minutes, but the process is the same. Wet these, apply the toner, shampoo these really good. Okay, so the 15 minute timer is about to go off and you can see like it looks super dark, but it's not. And you can see I have like a violet hue here. Whoa, and I just noticed I've got toner all over my door. I accidentally like flew it on the makeup brush. Anyway. Um, so now we're gonna shampoo this out and you can use any shampoo, any conditioner. It does work best with paraben sulfate free, but whatever, even if we can shed the Dollar Tree, it's gonna be okay. Let's shampoo this. Okay, so I just did like a quick blow dry and you can see it's like 100%, 100, 100% better. And it blends all those like imperfect lines that I created while I was rushing through my hair color. So it kind of makes those mistakes blend together, no yellow, and then it picks up the dimension so it changes the level nine to be a lighter hue and it doesn't mess with the low lights that I just put in. 
Now we're ready to put some fresh weave on it. Thanks for joining me here in my bathroom. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like or dislike. If you didn't like it, whatever, who cares? I post new content every week. I will see you next week for something cool.